how fortunate we are today to have the opportunity to meet Yvonne Chan of Iolani School. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much, Lila, for having me. And you have a fabulous project that you're working on. So I'm, yes, I'm a teacher at Iolani School, um, but I'm also the director of a research lab in the Sullivan Center for Innovation and Leadership at Iolani. And our mission is to nurture independent research, foster citizen science, and provide outreach to improve STEM education in Hawaii. We do that through different projects. One of the projects is Navai Kolu, which is the three waters. And it's an, um, an effort to bring together the schools in the Alawai watershed, the schools along Manoa, Makiki, and Palolo streams to help monitor and restore the health of our watershed. And maybe you could tell us a little bit more about what it means to the students at Iolani. You know, Iolani is located in a perfect uh, position to understand the connection between mountain and ocean. Yeah, so we're right there along the Alawai Canal. So everything that happens upstream affects us downstream. So everything from the trash that gets washed down um, to the threat of flooding along the banks of the Alawai affects us. From your perspective with the young people, it's more than a course that they're taking when they work with you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going out there and they're collecting data that's needed in order to understand the problems the gaps in knowledge um, in our watershed and then we're hoping that they will also design solutions to those problems. So with a, with a school like Iolani that has kids from all over the island coming, what do you find is a, a common denominator for them? They're all really eager to um, have an impact on this world but they're you know they're young and they 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 don't necessarily not know sure how. how. <laughs> yeah, so just getting them out there, observing, so that they can um, they can see what's what's going on out there, and then they come up with the ideas for for how to um, address these issues. So, was this your idea that came up, or or were you in the right place at the right time? Um, no, I mean I was at the right place at the right time. The the mandate of the the Sullivan Center for Innovation and Leadership mm. at Iolani School is to really be a private school with a public purpose and to, to help lead um, in the community and provide resources and support to help other schools um, improve education and address these problems. Well, and, and what I know to be true about teachers is that we want our children from all different backgrounds to get along because we are community here. And is that one of the successes that you've seen working with the different schools? Each school, there's over 30 schools that are involved now, wow. goes out into the stream and um, we monitor the biodiversity. So we, we block off, and we're using, using a traditional pie pie method, we'll block off the top and the bottom of a section of the stream and then chase all the fish into the nets. And then we pull them out and we count how many invasives and how many native oak And you've found a lot of invasives. And yeah, so through the, the, the community together, these 30 schools, we've taken out over 20,000 um, invasive fish and over 1,000 pounds of biomass, making more room for the native oak and opai. In and the stream. flow of the stream. Yeah. You know, it's so interesting, and I wish we had a little bit more time to know specifically um, what that biomass means and that looks like but they can check your website, I'm sure. Yeah, navayakolu.org. Great, thank you. And thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being so excited to have our young people be part of this. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you being here. We've been chatting with Yvonne Chan, teacher at Iolani School, who's doing some amazing things with her students at the Sullivan Center there. Appreciate you being with us too.